The video that you see on your television screen follows standards established in the 1950s when color television was first introduced. The leading formats in use today are NTSC, which stands for National Television System Committee, and PAL, P-A-L, which stands for Phase Alternating Line. So let me spend a few moments in this movie covering the differences between these two worldwide standards. Generally speaking, NTSC is the standard used in the Americas and Japan, whereas PAL is used in Europe, Australia, the Middle East, and Asia. Neither video standard is optimal for presentation on computer monitors, however. Each poses different challenges when you're trying to optimize video for web delivery. For example, in regards to frame size, NTSC and PAL have different image sizes, both of which differ from the available image sizes of computer monitors. In regards to frame rate, NTSC and PAL have different frame rates for the display of images, both of which differ from those used by computer monitors. We also need to talk about pixel aspect ratio, which I'll cover in more detail in a later movie. NTSC and PAL share a pixel aspect ratio referred to as D1 aspect ratio, which is essentially rectangular. But this ratio is different from that used by computer monitors, which is square. In regards to display, NTSC and PAL consist of two separate interlaced fields, while computer monitors display progressive images. I'll be covering this concept in more detail in a later movie as well. I've constructed the following table to summarize the differences between NTSC, PAL, and a computer monitor, starting with the image size. The standard size for an NTSC video is 720 by 480 pixels. PAL is 720 by 576. And computer monitors, as you probably know, can vary but are generally much larger. Frame rate for NTSC is 29.97. For PAL, it's 25. And for the computer, just about anything you set it to. Typically for flash projects, the frame rate is set at 12 frames per second. For director projects, it's typically 30 frames per second. But again, these can be changed. The aspect ratio of a computer monitor is square, whereas for NTSC and PAL, they're D1 or rectangular. And the display for both NTSC and PAL are interlaced, while computer displays are progressive. Let me now move on to the next movie and talk more about these various technologies that I've covered in this and the previous movie, starting with frame size, which will be the topic of the next movie.